G'day guys and welcome to this round one weekend vlog. I apologize about this vlog getting out so late in the week. In fact, on the same day that round two starts, I will usually be out on the Monday or Tuesday after a round. There's just been so much footage in this vlog, it's been hard to find time to edit the whole thing. I've been quite busy um, because I was actually in Adelaide for this vlog, so there is a lot of footage. I apologize for that, for getting out so late. Enjoy the vlog. We're almost ready to go for D's Dogs live stream starts in three minutes. Absolutely can't wait. Except during the whole damn day, I forgot to charge my camera battery, so hopefully that's all good for the live stream. Out the Bulldogs come for this grand final rematch round one. Cosy picking us almost just take a mark of the year at round one. Dogs take a few chances early. The D's have been clinical. They're 12 nothing up. Here in the first, Hunter, Waitman, Oliver, or oh, Langdon. All right, it was just quarter time. The D's had a convincing 15 point lead. Should have been more. Waitman had a soft free kick um, at the quarter time siren, but the dogs have come out firing. I picked one goal, two within a minute. And um, yeah, they're looking good in the second quarter, looking like the better team. Can the D's fight back? The dogs go down by 25 to start off the matchup. And Aaron Norgan's gone bang, bang, bang in this second quarter. 16 to go in the second. And the Western Bulldogs take a four point lead. What a game this is. All right, it is half time here at the MCG. It is the dogs by nine, the D's fought back well. The dogs definitely got the better of them that quarter. We could have a massive second half on our hands. Like it's quite a similar game actually to the 2021 grand final. All right, well, Carlton Richmond is on at the moment. It looks like it was same old Carlton in the first quarter. It looks like they bottled it again, but fear not. Look at this ladies and gentlemen. Look at this, third quarter, Carlton Richmond 39 tie up. This is the best Carlton Richmond game we've seen in years. And this has also been filmed on the brand new G7X camera that will be used for all the match day vlogs and the weekend vlogs this season, which is absolutely massive. This game of football is absolutely wild. Carlton have gone off, they've kicked two straight, they've kicked quite a few straight actually. And the game is 10 points with 12 minutes remaining. I cannot believe this. I genuinely just... I cannot believe this. My fantasy is actually doing quite well this game, if I'm being honest. I've got quite a few Carlton and Richmond players in. If have a look here, I had a great game last night. McRae 120, Smith 154. And then look at that. 106 for Cripper. 87 for Hewitt. I'll take a 38 for Gibkiss. And I'll take a 62 for Dusty and a 60 for Mackay. Here we go. Free kick at the top of the goal square. Here come the Blues, it's Lockie O'Brien. Can you imagine the scenes if he buries this to make it 16 points with 10 minutes to go? Lockie O'Brien. He can't miss. He hasn't missed. The MCG erupts and the Blues are back. Oh my goodness. Oh no, Adam Chera, the former docker, he's got 24 possessions. Haven't seen too much of him so far in this game. Here comes Chera. He'll go back. Will he knock it down? He was for his first goal as a blue. And it keeps the Tigers in it with 9.20 to go. And Dimmer won't be happy. Richmond have just given away 100 meter penalty to Adam Chera and the Carlson Football Club. Oh my god. Chera's burying his first goal as a blue. And an 11 straight Richmond, Richmond winning drought has been broken. Carlton are being at Richmond in round one, and the MCG are ups. Is this the start of a new era for Carlton? There's Sam Dockery, incredible story for him. Michael Voss's first game, and the, possibly the first game of a new era. What a win for the Blues. All right, so I've had quite a big morning, if I'm being honest. I've had to edit two videos, and I'm on to my third one right now. Before I go to Adelaide, um, I have to leave for my flight in 40 minutes, and I'm not even halfway through editing another video that I'm gonna get done. Um, I'm, I'm in a bit of trouble here. I'm trying to get this one done, but uh, I'm gonna try my hardest. I'm gonna get daily uploads out while I'm in South Australia. I'm gonna try to get as many daily uploads out as I can throughout the season. So it's a bit of a push, but well, we'll try to get through it. I smashed out two, I got up at like 7 a.m. this morning. I smashed out two really, really tough edits, and um, after studying that, like 1 a.m. 
this morning. Uh, yeah, it's been a big day. I'm not too concerned about tiredness. I don't really care how tired I am. Um, I watched actually a bit of the soccer at 3am. I don't really care about my tiredness because most likely I'll sleep on the plane. I'll get to Adelaide at 10pm and then I'll have a nice sleep there and ready for Saturday. So yeah, I, I also can't wait for the footy this weekend. Even though I'm in a different state, can't wait for the footy this weekend. Alright, well we're here now in the Adelaide CBD. Be on a bit of an aimless walk if I'm being honest. Just um, walking around trying to find something that's half interesting. Obviously this is kind of an Adelaide vlog and a footy vlog mixed for round one. St Kilda got shocked by the pies last night at Marvel Stadium. Which, yeah, that, that was unbelievable. Apparently St Kilda was shocking. I missed the entire thing while on a plane. So um, yeah, now today got three crackers. Geelong Essen doing at the G. We've got Sydney GWS buggy gone for a thousand at Accor and Brisbane and Port at the Gather um, tonight. So yeah, should be a massive day of footy and here in Adelaide. Two weapons, so we're just going to get a bit of an update on that. Yeah. Here we are, Adelaide Oval, day before the game. Walking here because I've got nothing else to do. Feel alive, let's hit the dance floor. Don't work too hard, my break a backbone. Return to the Mac, the king is back though. Alright, well we are now here at the Adelaide Oval. I, I cannot wait for game day tomorrow. The nerves are kicking in. I'm bloody excited to go go having an explore because I've got nothing else to do. And what you just saw is a bloody anti-vax protest and racists. Wow. Hello base. Here for the thrill, I don't need a chaser. Wanna vibe it to get away. Shimmy shimmy, yeah, I got the semi four way. Don't step out the line like this a probate. You hit the line and try to locate. This for the time, got time for no day. One. Too many, I'm going. Two. Too crazy and I got Three. bad ones and they ready. Four. A good time, so now it's in new it, we left us. That right there, that behind me, that's tomorrow. Come on the dockers. Hey, hey, hey. Some big games of footy today. Um, Sydney got up over GWS after a tight affair at Ackle Stadium. Body only kicks one, can't quite get to a thousand. And then the Brisbane Port game had just finished at about 10 30. Bloody hell, a literally a crucial mistake. Lots of injuries for Port. And Brisbane get the win by 11 points. First time Port have been out the top eight for two years, which is quite incredible. Um, yeah, three, well, Substandard games are for you tomorrow, but I'm heading to the Agalo and I'm flying them and I'm bloody pumped and I'm bloody nervous. Can't bloody wait. Come on. In the mid between, yellow light, I gotta speed up. Get home to a cold shower. Need that. Pronto. Look, look, look like a rave at the condo. Dragon to the rounds last night. West Coast got destroyed by Gold Coast by 27 points off the stadium. Also after an incredible Adelaide for a game. We're ending off the vlog here on Monday afternoon in the Barossa Valley. 
here in Seattle, Australia. Thank you for watching. I'll see you all next time. Cheers. Can't remember anything, but I know we got. Lit.